Each morning I awake to this, a long and precarious drop into Castile Wells' inner moat. And yet, by time at the castle, I've met many students who are willing to brave the edge. Why do I sit on the moat? Because I think it's a really peaceful place. What have you heard about what happens when you fall in the moat? Uh, I heard that you can get fined and you'll get in trouble. Um, it doesn't look appealing to fall into, so I don't think I'm going to be trying it soon. I yeah. actually uh, went to some 600 foot cliffs in Ireland and sat on the edge, so I live on the edge pretty often. Pay a fine if you fall. If you fall in. on the moat? Yeah. That's kind of ridiculous. What if you fall by accident? Well, that's the question. Well, if you fall by accident, you shouldn't have to pay a fine. Like, if I, well, I guess if it's my fault, like if I'm walking along the side of the moat and I fall in, no, why would you have to pay a fine? That's stupid. It seemed to me that students were not taking the consequences of their risky behavior very seriously, and so I decided to pay the Office of Student Affairs a visit. Well, I don't think it's allowed to jump in the moat or just go s for a swim. But I think if you fall in the moat by accident, you won't get a fine. If you drop things, yeah, you can also ask Uber or Evo to try to get it out. But if it's a key, for instance, and you won't get it back, then you have to pay 50 euros. <laughs> Even authority may laugh in the face of this very real danger. But it's only a matter of time before the moat claims its first victim.